right, Lawrence Cannon here with Queen Anne's County Sanitary. We're back on Postal Road. Uh, as you can see, we do have the slip ramp closed and we're starting with the drilling process, uh, which the general contractor is Schumer Incorporated. And uh, as you can see, the large equipment here is the drill rig and that belongs to a local company, Drill Tech, uh, the owner of Mike Calavitas. Uh, and his wife has the Club One right here in uh, Chester. They had to have a special permit because it's such a large machine and uh, they took, couldn't get it in until this morning. Uh, so luckily we've, we've got the drill rig here now and uh, they are proceeding as uh, you can see there with the, uh, with the rig going on, they're inserting rods into the ground and what they're doing, they have a whole tractor trailer load of rods they're going to thread these rods together and push them into ground all the way to the end of the Safeway. So it's going to make it one continuous rod, basically. Uh, once they get down to the Safeway area, they're going to be digging a hole, and that's where the rods will come out of the ground. And also, where well, they'll be hooking on to the 18-inch pipe and actually pulling that pipe back in the ground where these rods are running now. What you're looking at here is the drill fluid, which is just a water mix with a bentonite clay, and that keeps the rods lubricated as they're going in the ground and as they're turning. Um, it's not sewer, <laughs> thank God, uh, but as you can see, it keeps the, keeps the rods lubricated, uh, makes them go in easier, and uh, keeps them from freezing up. Uh, they may have pulled it out just to make sure that they've got their alignment good. Uh, at the opposite end of where we're looking now, if you're looking up there, you would see a few guys up there. They're locating the end of the uh, rods to let the operator and the equipment know whether to turn right, left, or go up or down. Mike's locating the front of the drill rods now so he can keep his alignment straight um, as he's making his way towards the Safeway. Uh, the piece of equipment that he has in his hand just locates the magnetic head on the drill rods. Uh, he can send the signal back to the operator to give it a right, left, or up or down. Yeah, he'll be doing that all the way uh, through, through the intersection, all the way down to Safeway, to the receiving pit. So that's not necessarily the safest job, but... Uh, it's, it's, no, it's not the safest, but uh, we try to, try to be as safe as we can with the vests on and uh, try to keep flagging with some cones. So it'd be great if everybody was looking out for them when they're driving down the road. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Just don't be on your cell phone when you're coming through here. <laughs> in this process here, they've just shoved the rod in. And now they're unthreading from the from the push portion of the drill rig. Uh, that's that's going to pull back, as you can see now. It goes all the way to the top of the rig. They will thread a new rod onto the rod that they just shoved in the ground and. Uh, process continues. Looks like it feeds water down inside that. Yeah, it also feeds the water. That's part of the drill fluid that you see. It's coming out of the ground, but mainly it's inside the, the rods to keep fluid to the front head to help it to steer. Uh, so that's some of the uh, fluid that you see coming out, but the rods are hollow. So they're lifting the next section of pipe in? So, yep, they're setting the next rod. They're getting ready to set it on those guides there. The uh, the front portion that you just see now where it's, lo it's locked in place, the other rod, the rod that's inserted in the ground, they'll thread the top portion and then they'll push it down and thread it into the, the portion that's into the, uh, into the ground now. And then, uh, like I say, the whole process starts over. They basically are screwing, it, screwing them together and then they just push it in the ground for the next uh, 40 foot. So it looks pretty fast too between putting a new pipe on and pushing it through? This, this portion is faster uh, because they are just threading the pipes together and pushing them out. Uh, once they get in to start to pulling it back, they have to take these rods off and they're pulling, a, they're making the hole bigger. This hole now that they're putting out is called the pilot hole and it's only about uh, maybe eight inches in diameter that's in the ground. Uh, then they're gonna, what they call pre-ream, they're gonna pull these rods back and they're gonna make that hole uh, approximately a 24 inch hole and all this is happening underground it's not interfering with the traffic from this point all the way to Safeway so it's actually minimizing the the disturbance to the road you don't have to fight with a whole lot of construction equipment all the way down 18 You've got these two areas that you have to deal with but uh, 
for the most part, it's much less invasive than uh, an open cut process. Seems like it. Is it faster? It seems like it pro could be faster, I guess, without it, all that. It is faster than an open cut. Um, obviously, you can see these rods going in. That's 40 foot at a at a at a time. From what they're telling me from Drill Tech, they can pull back that 18 inch pipe uh, approximately 200 feet an hour. Uh, so that's uh, it's a lot faster than an open cut open cut situation. Could probably get maybe 100 feet a day. 100. 150 feet a day, uh, but you've got all the uh, the road equipment, the trucks lined up to haul dirt out, bring new dirt in, uh, pipe and everything else. So, so it's a it's a lot of preparation for this type of a uh, process. But once it gets started, it does seem to go faster. If you're coming eastbound uh, on 18, you can see that the Island Flowers entrance is open. You can just take a right and turn right in. If you're going westbound, you can see that Island Flowers is open. Uh, come on in and visit them. As you can see, the, the slip ramp, what we call the slip ramp, is closed, but the entrance to Periwinkles is open. It's very easy to turn in, and you can also get to Island Flowers this way. Just go right behind the Periwinkles building, and it, it goes through right over to Island Flowers. So they are both open and uh, waiting for you to come visit. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Mike Calvatus with uh, Drill Tech. We're based uh, right here out of Chester, and we're working on the, uh, the Postal Road Project, directional drilling from here roughly to about a half mile away at Thickway. So you get a pretty good view of your whole project, like you were saying. And you said you've already drilled one direction? One direction? Yeah, from this location, standing up on the rig, if you were to look uh, straight down Postal Road all the way to Baker's Liquors, we've already installed all the pipe in here uh, by directional drilling. Uh, the trench marks that you see are actually from the water line that they, they trenched in. Um, but the uh, sewer force main, the replacement main, is uh, well, about 10 foot deep below all that and uh, heads all the way to uh, Baker's uh, across Cox Neck Road and comes out just past the, uh, the church property. Can you tell me a little bit about the process over here with this machine and your um, vacuum truck, you said? Sure. Vacuum well, truck? the vacuum truck here is, uh, is utilizing our mud recycler that's over here, we use this recycler to recycle our drilling fluid uh, so we don't have to keep on making new fluid. The drilling fluid brings all the, um, the native soils uh, back out of the uh, ground for us so we actually make room for the pipe after we get the pilot bore done. We've done as much as we want to do today with the traffic building the way it has been towards you know, 4 o'clock right now. So uh, we're roughly out to about where that turn arrow is right now and uh, tomorrow we'll hopefully, if everything goes well, we'll finish the pilot bore. Having the pilot bore finished, uh, hopefully, um, at the end of the day tomorrow, we'll be starting our pre ream process, which is basically making the hole bigger. Our, our pilot bore is only 10 inches big. Uh, the overall size of the bore hole will be about 28 inches when we're done. And that's when we'll pull the 20 inch pipe in. That's great. So we're hoping uh, the end of next week, if everything goes well. Yeah. Is this the same rig you used at the other end to go the other direction? No, we used a much smaller rig for these bores here. Uh, we used a 120,000 pound machine for those. Was it just a shorter distance or? Uh, this was broken up into three bores because of um, all the driveways and traffic control we had to deal with. Right. Uh, so we just did three short bores instead. They were all about between six and 700 feet apiece. As of August 19th, you can see that the slip ramp is still closed. But the drill tech drill rig that was here at the intersection of Postal Road and Route 18 is finished and no longer on site. A lot of the pipe has been pulled into place and the project is moving forward at a rapid pace. Traffic is moving and the businesses near this intersection are still accessible and open for business.